Queen's Home Stadium today where Gloucester Hartbury are taking on Exeter Chiefs in the Premier 15's final. It's all to play for today as neither team has taken home the trophy. Let's go talk to some fans. So we have found Pete in the stadium with some very wacky glasses. Pete, who are you here supporting today? Oh, it's got to be Chiefs. Chiefs, have you come from down, down the south? Yeah, from Exeter, yeah. Lovely. And did you get on one of the buses? I've heard that they put on lots of buses today, or did you drive yourself? We have our own coach that we go every week to Sandy Park, but we have our own coach already arranged, and yeah, great. Amazing. And what do you think of today's game? Obviously, there's 8,000 people that are going to be here. Have you seen women's rugby take off in the last few years? Oh, what, what, do you, what do you take? Eight years ago, unheard of, but now, fantastic. Yep. Really good standard too. Amazing. And what are you expecting from today's game? We've heard a lot of different Chiefs, things. of course, but it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a close game. What do we think the predicted score is going to be for today? Oh, I don't know. I think it's going to be tight, but I think Gloss is going to win. You think Gloss, then? What about you? Um, Gloss is definitely going to win. Where have you come from? Sorry. Are you a Harlequins fan by any chance? Uh, yeah. And Saracen? Yeah. And now Gloucester as well? Yep. <laughs> okay, so for you, who are you excited to see out on the pitch today? Mohan. Mohan, why Mohan? Fellow nine, and I just think she's incredible. Have you been supporting the girls throughout the season? We do, yeah. Um, Susie's a friend of mine, so um, we've been following, and my daughter's here with me today, so we, yeah, we've been following for the last few years. So. What do you think Susie brings to Exeter? Because obviously she's been in this position before, she's been to the finals. How do you think she's going to be preparing the girls, if you're friends of her, how do you think she's going to be pre uh, preparing the girls to go out there and win today? Well, I think firstly that they've been here before, it's going to um, massively help them all with the confidence to know that they can push on to that next level. Um, so I think the nerves will, will be easier for them to handle. Um, I'm kind of hoping that Gloucester might struggle a little bit with it being the first time. What are you expecting from the game today? Oh, it's going to be phenomenal. I don't think, you know, regardless of the outcome, I think both teams are going to give it their all. And I mean, the conditions are hot. They are, it's going to be such a tough match, you know, and I think We've waited, it's been a 50 week season, the girls have put their, their absolute all into it, all the way through. And I think whatever the outcome, I think every fan on this side of the pitch should be stood up and clapping them, because it's been phenomenal. Well, did you expect today to go the way it did? We knew it was going to be a tough battle, Exeter always obviously up front and things, but um, <laughs> what dreams are made of? We can't ask for any more. It was a tough game, it was hard, we fought till the end, and yeah, come out on the right side of the result. What are you going to do tonight to celebrate? Rosie, you know the answer to that question. Get me a pint. <laughs> Champione! Thoughts and feelings about today's game? Absolutely fantastic. The men could not have done better for a 10,000 capacity crowd today that we had. The atmosphere was oh, top notch, couldn't fault it. I've got no voice, so as you can tell. So. You've actually turned around and said that it should stay Queen's home until the men can do better. I like that. That can stay. 100%. When the men can do better, that name gets changed. It was a fantastic game. Real great big display for women's rugby as a well. whole. So it was great to see two teams going hard at it. How did you find the game today? Brilliant, especially the result. The game was excellent. Some ferocious tackling on both sides and uh, the right result. How was obviously the build up to the game? Was everybody excited that Exeter were in their second final? Yeah, everyone was excited and looking forward to a, a really good close game. And uh, it didn't quite work out how we wanted it to. What do you think that was? Why do you think that Exeter uh, didn't come away with it today? Oh, it's really difficult to, to say, but I think um, there was some of the decisions we made weren't, weren't right. Uh, Gloucester um, game management was really good. Um, when they got close to our line, they were hard to stop. Um, but, you know, we made too many mistakes. I think it was a brilliant game. Um, it was well played by both sides. Really proud of the Chiefs, but the best team won on the day. And I think Gloucester were phenomenal today and we dropped the ball quite a bit. Um, the best team won, but great atmosphere. Gloucester fans have been brilliant. They've been really, you know, friendly with us. Um, hot, but really good. I thought Gloucester played excellently. They were covering all our plays, and there was nothing we could do really. It was such a shame, really. 
the way it goes. And how do you think Exeter will come back from this? Do you think that they'll reset and go again? Or what, what kind of attitude do they have in this kind of situation? Absolutely they will. I mean, uh, you know, that's the, the same with the, the men and the, and the women. You know, they'll, they'll look at what, what they've done this season. I mean, at the end of the day, we've won the Premiership Cup. We've, we've, we've come up short in the final of the Premiership for the second year running. Um, you will go again next year. Two finals, Prem Cup one. It's only our fourth season. We're only going upwards. And third time's a charm, right? Absolutely.